Today I'm Pancake the Furry and today I'm going to be talking about furry bees and goats. Let's get started. You don't need a fursuit to be a furry. Yes, it might look fun. And yes, I think you've heard other people talk about this. But it's not, I guess it looks cool. Yes, it's a luxury item. You don't need a fursuit to be a furry. Lots of, most of the fandom doesn't have uh, a fursuit. Yes, that's what people take photos of. And that's what we're famous for, having fursuits. But you don't need one. Plus, most people don't even have a full suit. And yes, you can say, uh, if you go to a furry convention, uh, you'll just see other furries uh, just, you think you just need a fursuit. But you don't need a fursuit to be a furry. And that's what just, just what people take photos of. You don't need a fursuit to even attend a convention. You also don't need one to attend uh, a furry convention. You don't need to be a furry to even go to a furry convention either. You can just go. It's just fun. Number two. Don't sneak behind a fursuit. We have blind spots. We have blind spots. We cannot see as well as a normal person. Cup your hands around your eyes. And we can't really see that. We can't see that well. So... Some people can see like this far, and some people can only see this far. Right now, I can't see my hands right now, I can't see my hands. Now here, I can just see the tip of my hand. Now I'm going to, can't see my hands, I can see my hands like here. And then here, can't see my hands, can't see them, can't see them, just see them. So I can only see like this. So, depends on the person in the fursuit, and depends on the what kind of fursuit it is, you, some people can't see as well as others. Uh, number three. Cosplay is not consent. What does that mean? It means you cannot touch other fursuiters without their permission, or, or even cosplayers. This, this uh, applies to everybody. Please do not touch a fursuiter without a consent. That could be anything like hugging or like going behind them and just wrap. But please don't, please don't touch them because it. Uh, some people might have anxiety and they they just been touched without consent. So just. Please always ask, even if you want to have a like, high five, just, just put your hand up, be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still sort of asking, so please just, just ask. Number four. Four. Uh, don't steal, if someone has a prop or a plushie on them, please do not steal that item. It can be someone's... Uh, it's theirs, that it's rude, you don't steal someone's property, and uh, sometimes it can be helpful for them with their anxiety. Don't do that, that's rude. And it's theirs. I know, I don't care if you're gonna just take it, oh, it's gonna be funny, oh, I just want this for this photo, uh, please do not take the item, please ask. And if you have the prop, don't just go lending it out. If you give it to someone, that prop, keep an eye on that person. Because they can give it to someone, and then that person can give it to someone else, that person can give it to someone else, and then when you turn around, you don't know where your prop is. Like, where'd it go? And you ask the person, they're like, I don't know. It can be really heartbreaking. So, yeah. Uh, number five, don't uh, hang out or like, hug a fursuiter for too long because we get very, very hot. It's like a very, these expensive carpets, they don't, 
You cannot stay still for very long. It's like having a thick jacket on, and plus another thick jacket on your head, and you can't really see that well, because there's first English! First suit vision. It's not, first suit vision isn't that great. Uh, and plus, when someone's hugging you, you cannot ventilate that much. You have to ventilate. You have to have air. Yes, we do have fursuit fans, but even that's not going to help. That's only a little bit helping. Yeah. Also, if anyone has a name for this guy, please please name it in the comments. And while we add it, why don't you like and subscribe? And if you got your out to this part, comment about uh. Comment a name for this guy. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Say hello to fursuiters or furries. Say hello and and ask for a hug. Don't demand a hug. Don't just go like just don't just ask. Be a decent human. Yes, I know it's crazy. There's people underneath the first underneath the fursuits and the masks but we are people hello mm. but if you see a famous furry let's say Bakari uh just ask for a photo don't just be like Weesh. just don't don't do that it's disrespectful uh do shower Please shower. Always shower. I'm begging you. If you go to a furry meet or anywhere, you should be showering uh, every day or night. Uh, if you're fursuiting or not. But sometimes you have to take extra showers if you're fursuiting. Depends on the person. Some people have to take three showers. But please shower. I'm begging you. If, if not for you, please shower for me. Please. Everyone should shower. Else, don't be a musky husky. Please. Don't be a stinky person. No. No, no one likes stinky persons. Uh, number eight. Disinfect your suit. What do I mean by that? Please clean your suit after every wear. I don't care if you use some fursuit spray. But at least it at least it's something. But you should always give your fursuit a proper wash every once in a while. But please at least use fursuit spray after everywhere. I mean everywhere. And if you don't know how to make fursuit spray, uh, either or if you just don't want to make it and just buy it from somewhere, there should be just search it up uh, fursuit spray. But if you want to make your own, I should put a link either in the description or the comments and how to make it and where to get it. And also, I shall, uh, I shall, uh, say don't use eucalyptus oil, essential oil, or please do not use vanilla. Because it can whiten, you could yellow the your suit, and it's not good. And please don't use stuff like Glen 20 in your first suits. It's just gonna use a, a the sticky residue. Just don't. And Number ten. Don't follow people around. Don't, don't be a stalker. Please don't be a stalker. Uh, what I mean by that, if you like the first suit off, you might want to hang around them more. Or blah blah blah. But don't just, don't stalk them. Please, please, just be a normal person. Take your photo. Be like, oh, you're so cool. Blah, blah, blah. If they're going to the headless lounge, then, yeah, maybe be like, oh, yeah, I'll see you at the headless lounge. And then you can talk to them more there. But then you might not just talk to them at, in general. Just, just be decent. Please. Uh, number 11. Don't be upset if a furry doesn't 
see you or give you a high five. Okay, if if we cannot see you, I am sorry, but yes, with the follow me eyes, it does look like we are always watching you, but we cannot, we might not be able to see you. As I said before, we have limited vision. Please understand that we cannot see you, and some of us might be taking a mini nap, like right now. Might be having a mini nap. We cannot see. I don't know. Okay? Okay. Number 12. Please use deodorant before and after fursuiting. Please use deodorant. We, what did we say about showering? But also use deodorant. Don't be stinky. We don't care if you don't mind. But we don't want you... We don't want to be able to smell you from 30 miles away, from one side of Australia to the other side of Australia. It, some people might be able to smell you all the way from uh, New South Wales, from Tasmania. We don't want to. We don't want you to. Or we don't want to smell you. No. Please shower. Please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number 13. Don't use deodorant and spray it in your fursuit. Yes, don't spray it also on your like fursuit and not in your fursuit head. Please, if you want to do something with like how to clean it, please ask your fursuit maker. And if you are the fursuit maker, uh, please either search it up or you're going to have to do some wear and tear and so maybe fix it up a bit but please if you're unsure search it up or ask your first suit maker because the first suit maker would usually know stuff stuffs yeah and number 14 the final ah! the final oh one do do be a furry and enjoy it. Please have fun. And if someone's saying, "Oh, you have to spend X amount of money to be a furry," blah blah, blah blah blah, don't listen to them. Just be you. Have fun. And hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.